pick things up. Over time, this has a negative effect on the body, which is why older people tend to slump or hunch over. To reverse this process, we do a series of poses called back bends. The process of bending backwards increases flexibility in the back so that you don't hunch, but more importantly, it strengthens the muscles in your back. You don't want to wait until you have back trouble to get your back strong. Best to start now. If you do have lower back issues, this will be a good pose to rehabilitate some problems. Just go slowly and gently, please. We've got another animal on our hands. Pose number eight is called the cobra. We'll start by coming onto our bellies and placing the hands just under the shoulders. Press the tops of the feet into the floor and firm all the muscles in your legs. Pull your belly in and your tailbone down towards the floor. This is the same action that we did in cat pose and in mountain pose. It's important because it will help to protect the back. The hands are directly under the shoulders. Elbows hug in so that they touch the sides of the body and the shoulders shrug away from the ears. Tip the chin down slightly so that you don't put any strain on the neck. We're going to take six breaths to move into and out of the pose. Vinyasa. Inhale, lift the body up by stretching the chest forward. Exhale, lower the whole thing down. Without using your hands or arms to help you, inhale up, expanding the chest, and exhale, letting the body soften. We're always inhaling to expand the chest and exhaling to soften and release to the floor. Now that we've warmed up the back by doing the pose dynamically, we're going to go into it again and hold it. This time, we will use the arms a little to get a little deeper into the pose. But keep in mind, you should be feeling it in the upper back, not the lower back. If you start to feel discomfort in the lower back, ease off. You're probably in too deep. So, hands under the shoulders, belly in, tailbone down. Hug the elbows in so that they touch the body and shrug the shoulders away from the ears. Let's inhale to come up just a little at first and exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together behind you. Inhale to expand the chest and come up a little bit more Exhale to really hug the elbows into your body. A flexible spine is one of the benefits of a regular yoga practice. As you inhale, expand the chest, and as you exhale, Release your whole body down onto your belly. Take some really deep breaths to sense how your body feels after the back bends. After doing all that work to strengthen the back, it's time to stretch it out. This is one of the all-time favorite yoga postures, and I'm sure you're going to love doing it now. It's called child's pose. Place your hands under the shoulders and press back onto all fours like we did in cat pose. Take a moment here. Bring the big toes together and separate your knees a little wider than hip distance. Sit back on your heels and lower your chest to the floor, keeping your arms stretched out in front of you. For an option, try putting your arms down by your sides, palms facing up. Let's start our six breaths. Inhale into the lower back ribs. Exhale, head and neck relax. 
inhale to clear out the lungs. Exhale, let the tension drain. fully. Bring the knees back to hips distance apart. Sit back on the heels and slowly roll up. Again, if this is hard on the knees, just shift your body to one side and let's all sit tall. The next pose we're going to do is called a seated spinal twist. It's a fundamental move. You'll find yourself twisting in any yoga class. If you're not comfortable sitting on the floor, go ahead and get into a chair now. Twists are known to be good for digestion and help to improve flexibility in the spine. To start, let's sit with our legs crossed comfortably. Keep in mind, you can place a cushion or towel under the sit bones or feel free to sit in a chair. Place the right hand on the floor on the right side of your hip and take the left hand to the right knee. Sit very tall and make sure that the shoulders are engaged behind you. As you inhale, stretch as tall as you can and on the exhale, twist to the right just a little at first. Let's start the breathing. Every time you inhale, stretch a little taller, and every time you exhale, twist just a little bit more, gazing now over the right shoulder. Even if you don't move any deeper than you are now, it's the intention that counts. Inhale to get taller, exhale, twist a little bit more. If I cannot bend and twist like a pretzel, I can't do yoga. False. Whatever your age, flexibility, or fitness level, you can do yoga. Last inhale to clear out the lungs, and the exhale gives it a big twist. Release slowly, and come back to center. Okay, side two. Place your left hand on the outside of the left hip, right hand to the left knee. Six breaths. Inhale to create that space in your spine. Exhale to glide into the twist. Gazing over the left shoulder. Inhale to get tall. Exhale to twist. Yoga originated in India over 5,000 years ago and remains one of the great exercises for stress reduction, conditioning, and to promote flexibility. We breathe in to open the lungs, give it a last exhale, squeeze everything out, and then release. Sit nice and tall. Take a couple of deep breaths here and feel the positive effects of the twisting. The next pose we're going to do is called a seated forward bend. We've already done a couple of standing forward bends to stretch the hamstrings. Now we'll take a hamstring stretch sitting down. Even if you've been in a chair for the other seated poses, for this one, you'll want to come onto the floor. Feel free to sit on a large cushion or towel that will make things more comfortable. And have a strap nearby if you think you might need some help reaching your foot. Start by getting grounded through the sit bones and sitting up tall. Stretch the right leg straight out in front of you. 
bend the left knee, 